Are you failing to retain length or are you failing to actually stop breakage on your natural hair? In today's video, I'm going to show you a powerful clove and fenugreek hair butter that you can use to seal in the moisture to prevent breakage and also to retain length. This is one of the best recipes that you can do to your hair to moisturize your hair. Ciao, keep on watching and please like the video. Welcome back lovelies. Before we get right into it, please like the video and also drop a comment below. The likes helps my videos a lot. We're going to start up with quarter of a cup of cloves and also quarter of a cup of fenugreek seeds. Now cloves are very powerful. They thicken up the hair. They also grow hair faster. They also darken the hair as well. So I'm just going to put all those ingredients in the blender. We're going to make our clove and fenugreek hair butter for hair growth now you guys this butter is going to help to retain length and to also stop breakage because most of the time we see a lot of breakage on our natural hair is because our hair is not properly moisturized so i'm going to be putting two full cups of oil inside the blender and i'm going to blend it together in the blender together with the oil okay guys i'm going to blend it together when i finish blending the cloth and the fenugreek i'm going to put them in this bowl now i really love this metal bowl to infuse my cloth and fenugreek i love doing this because it actually infuses faster because metals gets quickly heated up and it also helps with the infusion as well so i'm going to put another cup actually i ended up putting two cups of oil inside my fenugreek and cloves you guys it's only two cups that i used all right now i'm going to go on with my butter you're gonna need a scale to weigh your butter because we're gonna need about 200 grams of the butter okay so i'm going to weigh 151 grams first okay guys because i was trying to add uh, more shea butter to this recipe so first up i'm going to be starting up with 151 and then i'm going to be adding 49 grams so add up 151 plus 49 which amounts to 200 grams so i'm going to be using 200 grams of shea butter in today's recipe the cloth and the fenugreek hair butter so i'm going to put it in the glass bowl and i'm going to take another bowl full of hot water to actually melt down the shea butter you guys you have to do this step because it's very important i'm going to take my oil that i put on the stove okay guys this oil it's a bit warm uh, make sure that it cools down before you actually try to strain it so first up i'm going to take another bowl and put my shea butter my melted shea butter in there and i'm going to be straining out my clove and fenugreek oil um, in order to mix it up with the shea butter all right guys so that is what i'm doing now and i'm going to strain it with a uh, sock okay now you can use any cloth that you have at hand i have a sock right now so that is what i'm going to be using you don't want the particles from the cloves and fenugreek to go inside your butter all right so i'm going to mix it all up mix up the clove and fenugreek together with my shea butter and then i'll put it in the fridge for about um 10 minutes 5 to 10 minutes make sure that it's not hard okay as you can see it was not hard when i touched it there it was not hard make sure that it's not hard because if it's too hard you're going to have uh, difficulties in actually uh, mixing it all up with that electric mixer okay so the next stage is to beat up the clove and fenugreek hair butter beat it up if you don't have the mixer you know what we do on this channel take a stick and beat that hair butter up beat it up like crazy <laughs> oh all right guys so i'm just gonna mix it up as you can see in the video mix it all up now what happens with hair butter sometimes when you mix it up like this it gets hard as you can see right now it's very hard you don't have to worry look at that it's very very hard you don't have to use it when it's hard like this because it's even going to get more harder now you add in more oil 
to the hair butter okay guys add in more oil to your butter and mix it up again this is very very important because i've heard another person saying uh, i made the hair butter but the hair butter was very hard so you have to add in more oil add in just more oil as you can see it's looking like ice cream now you understand it's looking like ice career <laughs> all right guys so i'm going to add in my peppermint essential oil now this is very important uh, but if you don't have it no worries child just use what you hear or not even use the peppermint don't use it if you don't have it but if you have it you can add it in there because this shea butter you can also use it on your scalp as well i actually ended up using a little bit on my daughter's scalp all right guys because the peppermint actually helps to uh, circulate blood on the scalp and this hair butter you guys this clove and fenugreek hair butter it's very 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 moisturizing and it melts very easily inside your hands when you work it on your skin it melts very easily it actually turns into an oil very quickly so using it on the scalp it's actually good it's like a hair grease okay it's like a hair grease when you use hair grease it actually turns into an oil when you apply it on your hands or when you rub it on your hands it's the same thing with shea butter as well so you can also use this on your scalp okay guys and you can also use it on your hair as well because it has all those nutrients from the clove and the fenugreek so this is how to make your clove and fenugreek hair butter for hair growth okay guys i really hope this video is helpful now you can can store this by just putting it in don't put it in the fridge okay do not put it in the fridge because when water goes in there it can actually damage your hair butter just put it in room temperature don't put it where the sun can heat very hard just put it maybe in a cupboard you know so please don't put it in the fridge you can store it for about a month or two months it can even go for longer you guys because i don't put preservatives in my diys that's just me that's just what how i like to store my diys i don't put preservatives okay i just use it natural like this all right lovely so this is how to use it if you use it to moisturize your hair do not wash it out if you use like water and you use a conditioner and you use the butter to seal in the moisture you don't have to wash it out you only wash it out when it's your wash day when you are ready to wash your hair then you can wash it out but if you apply it on the hair you don't have to wash it out so thank you so much for watching please like the video also comment below please share this video to your family and friends to people who want to learn how to make their own diys to make their own clove and fenugreek hair butter thank you for watching once again and bye for now god bless you also have to subscribe if you are new Aka, subscribe